Lovely with Jody. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now we're gonna go get my last coat of tan. I am so thirsty. <laughs> I haven't had water since six yesterday. So the past 24 hours have been interesting. Got in yesterday uh, after a long travel day, pretty much. Checked in. Check in is always like go, go, go. Like, so show day and the day before show day is always like hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. You rush and then you gotta wait. You rush and then you gotta wait. So it's a lot of anxiousness, nerves, but overall I'm excited. So yesterday I already got my first coat of tan. This morning we're getting that touched up just so that it's perfect on show day. I'm like so traumatized with the tan. I remember my first show, I botched that. I didn't know what to expect. So now I'm like, I walk around like this after my tan. I'm like, nobody touch me, <laughs> nothing. So we gotta make sure that this is perfect. Where's the hair at? Right next door. Okay. Sorry. Do you have an appointment now? Do you yeah, they the booked my please. tan at 6.50 and my hair at 7. Okay. What, um, what's your name? Ray on the cross. <laughs> okay. I'm Ray gonna look so hot face. in this. <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact, my least favorite part of competing is the tan. Girls, you already know that I'm always cold. This tan oh, that's the is worst. freezing. Freezing. I'm there like this. <laughs> that's the worst. It's the worst part. Oh, you're walking. So I'm gonna go in. Okay. So I'm gonna leave my stuff here. Um, let me just the I'm the keeper? I'm the keeper. Yeah, be the okay. keeper. All right, be see back. you soon, bye. What do I feel right now as her coach? <sighs> uh, anxiety, um, fear, nervousness. I, I, I remember, you know, competing on that pro stage and, and I feel the same way now as if I was on that stage. You know, you, you, you know, I, I, I fear that they're gonna make the wrong call. I fear, although there is no politics in this, you can't help but fear that they're gonna choose somebody else over who you think should be the winner, right? I fear that, you know, she's gonna miss it by just this, this little, and if she does misses it by this little, what was it? Because we did every single thing we could possibly do to get to the look that we needed to get. And so, help me understand, you know? Um, I'm nervous, I'm nervous because, you know, these things aren't predetermined. They're, they're based on seven judges that are sitting in front of you that, you know, half of them are in the industry, half of them are not. So, you know, who does you like over who the next person like? There is a standard, yes. But you just hope everything goes well for that for, for that athlete. You just hope and pray, you know, and you're biting your nails and you're you're losing hair and you're losing sleep and you're just as excited, but you can't show it. Because the moment that your athlete sees that you're feeling some type of way, she's gonna feel that she's gonna get nervous and he's gonna get nervous or whatever. And so you gotta keep your calm, keep your composure, and just sit straight face. Meanwhile, this thing is going bananas nail biting and the whole thing so uh, yeah i become a wreck too how was it how was the tanning the tan was so cold like so so cold where i'm literally there like this like like domo arigato like this and then i cannot move and i'm traumatized with the tan because i don't want anything to get messed up so i'm literally walking around like like if I have cement body, yeah. it's, it's terrible. But it's done, I have my tan on. Now I gotta wait like an hour to get my makeup. So show starts at nine, open bikini is dead last. So probably be up like around 11. I'm telling you, it's all hurry up and wait. So we're gonna go get my hair done. Let's go. Let's go. What is that, what is that? Show the goods. Show the cookie. This is our OCD cookie. Who brings all these cookies? Do they have this? <laughs> what? I thought, you, I thought I already stopped. No. Hold on. I guess what? There's no room. More cookies. No. I, wait, there's still some here. Yeah. I'm dead with these. So guys. you know where to go off the show, right? I brought two of my cookie dealer. Oh, this girl. Oh, those are so good. She's I love those. That's just your one teammate. But she brought that for the rest of the team. I don't know. For herself. <laughs>
I love none. So she's like, what do you want to share? And I'm like, oh, so we got this one to share. But I'm like, I don't even want the whole thing. I want a quarter. You say a quarter now. Then you get your know. then you get your pro card. You're like, fuck it, I want a whole cookie. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna eat everything that comes my way. No, 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 tampoco así. Okay, so now we have mandatory athletes meeting. We're gonna go downstairs. Usually athletes meeting is when they kind of give you a rundown on how they're gonna run the show. By the way, I just did my hair. Can you tell it's so shiny? So we're gonna go um, get that done real quick and then we're gonna go do our makeup. How's it been working with Nat? I gotta tell you, um, working with Nat, working with Nat is, it has been easy to say the least. You know, again, like in every prep, the hardest part about working with Nat is the last three or four weeks because she is so willing to do whatever you say that whatever I say to her is bond, is what it is. So you wanna make sure, I wanna make sure whatever I tell her to do is the right thing. And she sees, you know, she, she sees the response of what it is I'm doing. And then she comes with the questions, which is great because I, I like athletes that actually ask questions because they should know what's going on with their body and why their body is going through all these changes. Although what you see on paper never translates to what happens in real life. Um, you know, you want an athlete to be inquisitive, you want an athlete to be responsive, you want an athlete to, 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 to have a communication like no other. Hey, coach, uh, you know, uh, I didn't sleep much last night. Hey, coach, uh, after the third meal, I had, I had this happen to me. Hey, coach, I went to the bathroom and I, and I had the runs. Hey, coach, you know, my period dropped. Hey, coach, you know, I, I need to know these things so that I can make adjustments on the fly so that your experience or whatever you're going through at that moment dissipates or, or, or gets better or even goes away. So she has all of that. You know, I can't say that for every, you know, athlete, which is where it becomes stressful for the coach or any coach. Because sometimes they don't listen. They don't listen. They think they know more than you and they just like destroy everything going forward. But to have an athlete like Nat, I wish I wish they were all like her. If they were all like her, my life would be smooth sailing as far as coaching is concerned. So best of the best. Then, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Hello. So we just wrapped up athletes meeting and this is mandatory before every show because they give you a rundown on what to expect. Good vibes, obviously. Giving us motivation, letting us know that all the hard work is done and we're really just here to have a good time and showcase all of that hard work, which is encouraging. Seeing all the athletes there, just being in that environment really puts you in the good mindset, headspace. So they give us a rundown on exactly how the schedule is going to go we got wellness today we got a bikini all the bikini classes i'm bikini open so i'm going to be going dead last don't know what time i'm going to be going up but today's going to be a fun day and i'm so excited to share it with you girls and take you along the ride can't believe we made it this far sheesh i feel like i've been prepping forever <laughs> found cookies in room 616 <laughs> 616 guys, 616 come, come get, get all, all the cookies, the cookie. come get all the cookies. I'm here now, I'm trying to stop us. Okay, stay there, I'll meet you there. Okay, goodbye. Bye. So my coach saw me this morning, I checked in with him, and he says that I'm looking a little bit flat, and I had a burger and fries yesterday. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you that, so I had a burger and fries yesterday? I always do that the night before the show, um, and it just helps with like filling out and stuff. I really don't understand this. This is why I'm not a prep coach. I only prep lifestyle or coach lifestyle girls. But I had a burger and fries yesterday, and then I checked in with my coach this morning, and he says that I'm still looking flat and I need to fill out. So he texted me that he brought me pancakes. Oof. And bacon. Oof. But no water, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It don't matter. Eat it. So I'm gonna eat that and then go do my makeup. I'm gonna also introduce you girls to my coach. You're always asking me. Can I wait to introduce you to him? The man, the myth, the legend. I'm really sad because my mom, like my mom is always at my shows. And this was so this wasn't planned, you girls know coming to nationals wasn't wasn't planned. I was gonna do a local show first and I already had that plan with my mom coming in and my mom always 
make sure that my hair is on point, my makeup is on point. She's my mom. She's my biggest hype girl. She almost came. Yeah, she's Colombia. Yeah, but um, so she's like my biggest hype woman on show day and she's not here, but she's here in spirit. I love you mom and I miss you. Ooh, the secret weapon. Oh, don't know. Where are, you Are there tables out there? Um, right there in Starbucks. We can check one of these tables. Oh, because then you get a, you get a, one of those sit tans when they start like. Right, I shouldn't sit, right? I don't know. I, just, I get paranoid. Yeah, that's up to you. But I mean, if coach says yeah. No, I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Coach brought me. Coach brought me. Oh man, the secret weapon. Pancakes and bacon. Now people are gonna see this and they get oh 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 man. You know it's good when you go to the happy dance. <laughs> What's the happy dance? <laughs> This is a, a true vlog. A true vlog. <laughs> so, I'm gonna introduce you girls to my coach, okay? The man, the myth, the legend. Presenting to you, Mr. Tony Torres. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing? Good? All good. She's gotta eat, and you guys gotta watch it, and I'll hop But why? You, why? Ju you just shared the secret weapon, now everyone's gonna copy. Well, look, so the reason why we do this at this time in the morning is because. So during the whole process, she has to uh, deplete or you know, of all glycogen in the muscles so she can create a response. And the response is when we feed her this, this rushes into the muscle, fills her out, so she looks a little more rounder, a little more fuller, fuller and then it pulls the skin against the muscle, creating a drier look, which is what we're looking to do so she can pop more on stage. That is why. I don't understand it. All I know is that this is fire. <laughs> You're not gonna find it in any book, school, or uh, they don't do this. They don't teach this. It's all experience. And uh, on paper, it doesn't look right, but on the body, it looks perfect. So that's what we're looking to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always ask them questions like, why? Why are we doing this? Are you sure? Why? Are you sure? I get nervous, of course, because I'm gonna mm -hmm. be on stage, but it always just works. It works out. It's always good to ask. It's always good to ask. You have to. That's how people learn. Yeah, exactly. You don't ask, you don't learn. There's, there's no stupid questions. The only stupid question is the one you don't ask. Yeah. Right? So. 100%. Cheers. Salud. Sucks that you're not here. I know, mommy. But we're we're there. We are there. It's a big show. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a really big people. show. Do you know how many people? I don't know. Um, it's just a really big show. Competition is intense. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine, baby. You go up there. You just do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Just do your thing. At what time is yours? Do you know? Um, bikini's last, so I'm thinking like 10 30, 11. But I'm gonna go do my makeup now. It's like five minutes from the hotel. That, that'll probably take like 45 minutes, an hour. And then by the, time I get here, by the time I get here, Tony just gave me pancakes. <laughs> your tanning, how did it come out? My tan is good. I'm nervous. I'm, ner 
I feel like I'm just like so in my head about it because it's a national show. Like it's a not like. But then I look at the stage. I'm like, it's just like every other stage that you freaking stepped on. Yes. It's just exactly. it's a me thing. So I I just want to get my makeup on, put my suit on, put my headphones on, listen to my music. I wanted to call you guys before because I don't know if I'm gonna have service in there. Meanwhile, I'm backstage. So give me give me your words of encouragement to put me at ease. Very simple. Very very simple. You are very confident. You know that. You got this. And you just said it. It's just like any other stage. intimidated by it. At I all. remember the first time that you went on stage, you were probably intimidated to throw these ladies. Oh, they've been doing this for longer than me. Oh, I was just doing this for four weeks and what's up? You own it all. So it's the same thing. Ah, chill. Relax. Yeah, baby, you got it. You have the practice, you have the pose, you have everything. So it's just one more. Plus you ate a burger last night, so you should feel better. I did have a burger. <laughs> No, that shit was dry as hell, but it still tasted better than freaking tilapia. <laughs> That's what I was gonna tell you. It's better than tilapia and asparagus. I yeah. bet you that. <laughs> Mommy, you'll rock it. Don't worry about it. Do your thing. You have this. You got it, Mommy. So just be confident as you always are. Yes, go up there, shine. Get it over with. Walk like if you own the place. Yes. Yes. Beautiful as always. Like, like normal. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you more tanning? Tanning? We'll throw you on this. Yeah, right? <laughs> Make you nice and charcoal and it's pretty cool. Get him up. Are you trying to cook her already? Trying to cook me? Oh, thank you. Light you up. All right, so um, I'm going to go pick up Dennis. like what's happening here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you only got this experience one time. You're first. I'm ready to have fun, dude. I'm That's what it's about. Fun. Remember, you're not a participant. You're here to win. In my mind, I already won. This was the hardest prep of my life. This is the hardest prep ever. Literally, like every single obstacle, everything that could have gone wrong, everything that would have made anybody stop was thrown my way <laughs> every step of the way it was the hardest 12 weeks but you know one thing about me is if i say i'm going to do something i'm going to do it and what what image am i putting out if i were to quit more importantly what how would i feel about myself if i, if I would have quit in the process i just have you have to make a promise and then keep it to yourself that's the best way to build confidence that's the best way to prove to yourself what you're made of and every single prep it's like I learned that I'm I'm so much more than what I think I am I have so much more to give I I become a stronger more resilient person every single time so really whatever happens today is just an icing on the cake one percent of people get to this point a lot of people want to start a prep a lot of people see it on the sidelines social media everything looks glamorous oh my gosh you look so good on stage you look so awesome how do you do it body goals what's your meal plan tell me everything and they never see what's in between they don't see what's in between they don't see the hard days they don't see the countless hours that you spend in the gym meal prepping in front of the mirror posing all of the conversations that you have internally am i going to be ready am i going to be good enough what's going to happen who's going to show up nobody knows that side everybody just sees show day mm -hmm. and that's why i love documenting the entire thing because this is the hardest thing that you can ever do but it's also one of the most rewarding things that you can do to say that you completed a prep to say that you started a prep and you finished it and then you got to show day and that feeling of accomplishment regardless of the placing is one that nobody can ever take away from you placing the placing and the trophy truly is just the icing on the cake obviously everybody wants to compete to win everybody wants to compete to win but just getting here man i already feel like a winner so 
whatever happens today is totally up to the universe what's meant for me will be for me all good vibes i know that i did everything that i possibly could to get to this point no stone unturned nothing was half-assed every cardio session every workout everything was 100 percent so i'm ready for whatever is meant to be for me today it's yours let's do it So uh, my friend Jen, she is right. an athlete with uh, so, Okay. And so she put out a lot of other Oh, nice. Okay. So this is like some color. Okay. Yeah. And then what are you thinking yeah. for, um, do you like neutrals? Do you like color? Um, any preference at all? I don't have preference. Okay. Then I'll just hit the ground running. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yes. The way the sparkly. Sparkly? Yeah, I like yeah. sparkly. That's a preference. I brought two earrings is because of my last competition. My earring broke. Oh my gosh, you should have seen my mom and Tony. They were both like trying to find. They looked up if there was a Claire's in the area. It was a mission. Wow. So I'm like, Let me just get two pairs this time. Just in case. Just in case. Because if something goes wrong, like it would go wrong, actually. Of course. I mean, there was once that a girl came out. I think it was figure. Her top broke. Her top broke, but she ca she caught it in time. She held it like this, and she went right back. I, I, didn't, see her, I didn't see her the rest of the day. See, at that point, retire. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel now? A lot better though? I feel better. I feel better. Um, I just got an update on the show. So wellness is done. Wellness open is on actually. So we still got time for bikini. Okay. Like we're on time. Good. Okay. This is not the exit. <laughs> we're lost. We're gonna be late. Oh gosh. You're depending on a depleted bikini girl too. True, 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 true. That's not that's not good. It's a bad idea. I didn't even see that there's an elevator here. No, Now we're gonna go back to the host hotel, go backstage, see if I need to get my tan touched up at all, because they have um, touch ups in the back. And then we're just gonna wait till it's our turn. Probably pose a little bit. More. And it's almost show time. It's almost show time, baby. Let's Going go. up. There she is, guys. I'm gonna get my tan. 
hand touch stuff. I'm gonna get my hand touch stuff, and then we're gonna go take pictures. I literally got chills. I'm like, yo, the, the way they moved you in, and you just, that was your box. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Your coach is jumping everywhere. I saw him. I was right behind him. Everywhere. I saw when I got on. When I got on, he jumped. Same way. He wasn't, he wasn't still in the seat. He kept on moving. That's crazy. <laughs> He's so happy. That's good. That's awesome, guys. Oh, let me get my phone. I'm gonna call my mom. I think she just texted. Like, oh. What's the plan now? I'm gonna call my mom. That's like my first thing. I just want to call my mom. I just want to call my mom. What happens after the show? So, I don't know what happens after the show. I mean, the show hasn't hasn't been determined yet. We don't know what's gonna happen. We hope. You know what we plan and for happens and so if it happens that way then she celebrates you know she eats what she wants um i know she's got a couple photo shoots uh coming up so uh if she if it does go her way and she turns pro god willing then you know i'll let her have a first i'll fill her up her water because her body needs fluids 
And then after that, um, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll give her a cheat meal, whatever she wants to eat. Then tomorrow morning, I'll put her back on, on a protocol uh, because she's got a photo shoot in a couple days. Uh, tomorrow morning, she's got a photo shoot um, uh, with you down in the lobby. So I want to still continue to, to keep that look no matter which way it turns out. Um, if she does earn her card, she's got a photo shoot with J.M. Mannion the next day as well. So we don't know. But if she doesn't, if she doesn't, it doesn't go her way uh, today, then we're going to continue with the original plan, which is next Saturday, July 7th. We have a, uh, a show uh, in back in Miami. And so either way, she has to stay in shape. So, you know, I'll give her this post show if she if she does well and then if she doesn't then it's back to fish <laughs> and you know, a couple of grams of rice that's that's what it is you know we, we can't determine what we're gonna do tomorrow until we know what happens today and so we're praying and so we're hoping and so we know we're just hoping that everything we did until this point is exactly on the money Congratulations. You did it.
How do you feel? From our first show to pro. We competed at our very first show together. And now we're going to be pros at the same show. That is awesome. Oh my god, I need to call my mom. Technical problem. <laughs> Go to mommy. Yeah, run to mommy. <laughs> okay, I'll call you when I have a better, better signal. Love you, bye. Okay, fresh off the stage, um, a little bit teary. We did it. We, um, we came and we got what we worked so hard for. You know, like coming into the show, obviously there were zero expectations. I really wanted to have fun. I wanted to get my first national show experience and, and just soak it all in and know that everything that I could do was done. I always said I wasn't in charge of the outcome, but man, this is just a cherry on top of the cake. I won't say cherry, I'll say chocolate because I love chocolate. This is a chocolate on top of the cake and just a true testament that if you are willing to work hard every single day, no matter how hard it gets, you will get to your goals no matter what it is. Not just with fitness, just with life in general. Every single thing that was thrown my way told me, stop, quit, don't do it. Self-sabotage brain. Always doubting myself along the way, thinking I'm not going to be good enough. What if I'm not good enough? What if I don't win? What are people around me going to say? All of that was just thrown away right now when I was handed this medal. Your girls and I, baby, pro, baby. Girls, we did it. Shout out to my girl gang. I'm so happy. And honestly, I'm just so proud of me. I'm so freaking proud of me. We could do outside. Yeah. So I know I'm gonna get so many questions. Coach Nat, what's next? What's next? And honestly, girls, right now I am so present in, in this current moment. I've dreamt of this moment for three years since I started competing. And you know, when I was thinking about what I would do when I turned pro, we all kind of think, oh, once I turn pro, I'm going to go do a pro show, or once I turn pro, this is going to happen. And you have all of these big ideas, big dreams, but now that it's here, what? <laughs> now that it's actually here, I feel like, I feel like right now I just closed a chapter of the longest book ever. And I just want to focus on being really present in this moment and soaking in all of these emotions 
and really just taking the time to process what just happened. You know, I do this every single day and I show up, of course, for me, but also to inspire you girls. And to be honest, I feel like I feel like I don't know what the next step is, but I know that it's going to be something even greater than what this moment is right now. And so how I feel right now is grateful. I feel I feel so inspired by all of you who send me messages every single day. And I just feel happy to have completed this journey that, you know, I've wanted since I was 18 years old. I wanted to be here since I was 18 years old. And I'll be 28 this year, so it's a decade of just manifesting. And now that it's here, I just want to soak it all in. I want to appreciate how far I've come. And I'm looking forward to the future and being okay for once with the unknown. Don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. all of my time and effort towards my clients. I don't know what it's gonna to be, to be honest, but I'm just really excited for the future and so, so, so excited to bring you girls along the ride. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, we did the thing. We did the damn thing. We showed up and we're 1% better today and I don't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow, but we'll be 1% better tomorrow.